Good morning, everybody. All right, I'm Julie Wright, the director of the Police Department's Media Relations Division. I'm happy to be here. This is my first time with all of you. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the kickoff of the 36th annual Prince George's County Public Safety Assistance Food Basket Program. The Public Safety Assistance Program, or PSAP, is made up of the five public safety agencies here in Prince George's County. Fire, Homeland Security, Sheriff, Corrections, and Police, working together to help feed citizens in our community. Let's kick this off. I'd like to introduce Fire Chief Green. I'm excited. <laughs> Chilly. Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of the men and women of French Georges County Fire and EMS Department, I want to welcome each one of you here to Station 806. It is my honor to serve as the co-chair of the Public Safety Assistance Program and to host the 36th annual Bill Milligan Christmas Food Basket Program. Although we were not able to serve you breakfast this morning or enjoy a warm hug or close company due to COVID, the memory of Bill Milligan and the purpose of this program still continues. And many lives will be impacted today because of this program. For us here in the fire service, it's not always just about putting out fires and other emergencies. So we are excited to be a part of this initiative that will serve our community where it's needed most during this pandemic. Again, a warm welcome to all of you. Please allow me to welcome my friend and colleague, Ms. Javonia Whittington, better known as Gigi, Director of Homeland Security and Chairwoman of the Public Safety Assistance Program. Gigi. Thank you, Chief Green. Good morning, everyone. I would like to take this moment to talk about our 36th Annual Public Safety Assistance Program and the legacy of William Bill Milligan. It was 36 years ago in 1984 when the public safety agencies joined forces to create the Public Safety Food Basket Program. Bill joined the program in 2003 and served as the executive director for the last 16 years until his death on December 5th of last year. As many of you know, Bill was the force behind the program. I always get choked up when I talk about him. I've been knowing him for so long and um, he was just a good guy. It was his mission and the mission of ours to serve seniors and others in their need during the holiday season. Bill was respected by so many in the public safety community and beyond. He took great pride in the work and we know he poured his heart and soul into this program and to in, into everything that he did. It is because of his tenacity and persistence and his commitment to the community and to the men and women of the public safety um, in public safety that we are proud to name this event the Bill Milligan's Annual Food Basket Program. The banner's hanging up. It's a new, a new banner, and this is, will, will be the banner that we use from uh, here on out. As we distribute 2,500 baskets throughout the community this year and more in years to come, let us remember Bill Milligan, his vision, and his legacy. Next, you will hear from DCAO McGall. Um, well, welcome to the kickoff of the 36th Annual Public Safety Assistance Food Basket Program. And first, just like Gigi, <clears throat> Director Whittington was talking about Bill Milligan, um, who really was the heart and soul of this program for so many years, um, was mentor to many of us and friends to all of us. So just, uh, uh, just a second to, remind, to remember him, a great man. But, um, you know, it's been a difficult year for everybody. Um, across the country, across our community. Um, so back in the spring, we started thinking and, and the executive committee for um, the food program sat down and, you know, how are we going to do this? Can we do this? Um, you know, where we are with COVID-19 and all those types of things. And it, it was the consensus of that leadership that we need to do this more now than ever. Um, this was more critical now than any other time in this program's history. You know, we're officially kicking off today, um, but there's a whole group of individuals that have been working behind the scenes to put this together for several months. Um, firefighter Willie Thompson, where you at, Willie? Back in the corner. Um, 
has really been the, the point of, of this team, but this team is made up of uh, from every agency within public safety. So guys, back in the back, thank you for what you've done and for putting this together. You know, you can't put something like this together without uh, sponsors. And um, sponsors and community partners really stepped up this week. And there's a couple that we wanted to recognize here today, this morning. Um, two long-term contributors who have helped us grow this program over the years. The first is Beth Goldberg, Senior Manager of Community Affairs and Public, Public Affairs for Safeway, and Shamika Price, President of the Board of Directors for Prince George's Association of Realtors. Could you both stand quickly? Thank you. <clears throat> Don't leave today without your plaque. Um, but. Um, It'll be up here when we're over, we'll get it to you. Um, but basically they both say, and, and sincere appreciation for your ongoing commitment and dedicated service to Prince George's County Public Safety Assistance Program, Inc. <clears throat> so thank you. We really couldn't do this program without your support. So thank you. Now it's my great privilege to introduce the County Executive, Ms. Alsobrooks. Good morning to everyone. Um, you know, I'd just like to say, as I stand here under this sign, I am reminded uh, this morning of something that's actually pretty happy, um, is it is that all of us recognize that we're only passing through this life and it will not last forever. Um, but the only thing that lasts is what we do for others. And I know that Bill Milligan understood that. And I believe um, that even in our own sadness, I bet Bill would be so happy to know that something that he did in his lifetime continues on and continues to help others. And I think that is something for each of us to remember is only what we do for others will last. And, um, and so that is why this morning is so significant. Uh, the 36th annual holiday food basket distribution. Uh, I'm so proud of that. And I'd like to take a moment to thank uh, Chief Tiffany Green and our fire and EMS department uh, for hosting us this morning. Thank you so much. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Director Whittington and the Office of Homeland Security. Thank you so much also for your leadership. Uh, DCAO McGaw, uh, who I know this is very personal for him as well. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to also thank Sheriff uh, Melvin High and the Sheriff's Office. Thank you so much, Mr. Sheriff, um, as well as Director Corinne LeBay of the Department of Corrections. Thank you so much. Uh, as well as Chief Hector Velez in the Prince George's County Police Department. want to thank you all uh, so much as well. <clears throat> what you've already heard uh, is that under normal circumstances, this season is a difficult season for so many in our community, and COVID-19 has only made it that much more challenging uh, and is still very much affecting our community. Uh, in addition to the health effects, uh, we know those are continuing. This is a trying, trying time as we see a resurgence of this virus in our community. Uh, what we know is that as well, thousands of residents uh, became unexpectedly unemployed this year. Uh, we have over 157,000 of them uh, who, were, who found it necessary to apply for unemployment benefits. And so we know uh, that the organizations and nonprofits who regularly take care of our most vulnerable residents remain strained uh, and really need our assistance. And through it all, our public safety team, who's been serving, by the way, on the front lines of this pandemic throughout, uh, never fails uh, to show up when needed. And today's holiday food basket program is yet another reminder of how our men and women in public safety are always on the ready to meet the needs of Prince Georgians. They do so with vigor. Uh, they do so with courage. They do so with passion. Uh, and I cannot thank them enough for their continued services and sacrifices on behalf of our county. Uh, the Public Safety Assistance Program is a staple in our community. And we know that for decades now, it has served so many of our residents. And I'm proud to say uh, that this year, we will be able to serve approximately 2,500 county families through this season's food basket giveaway. And as we celebrate the, uh, the, the basket, uh, again, let's remember, uh, as we started today, to take a, a moment to remember uh, Bill Milligan, 
uh, and to remember again uh, that we have the opportunity every single day of our lives to do like Bill did uh, and is to, and to remember uh, that the joy that we will have and the way that longevity is achieved is making sure that our service is always focused outward on others. And so I want to again uh, say thank you so much uh, for everything that you've done. This is so inspiring. Um, it's chilly cold and you all are out here uh, again and the spirit is high. Um, but so much I want to thank you all again. And I'd like to say, as I generally have a chance to say, this this is usually filled with people. Uh, as, as you heard, usually I can get here nice and early and cook up your sausages and, uh, and, and brew the coffee. You all know I don't cook any of this food. But anyway, we're usually a, uh, able to enjoy um, a breakfast together. And I'm usually also able to tell all of you to make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Um, I know that it is your mission to care for others, but th this gives me a great opportunity to say that I wish for each of you and your families a safe and, uh, and loving holiday that you remember that you are appreciated and cared for, and especially during COVID, please remember also to stay safe and to take care of yourself. So God bless all of you, and I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Thank you. Wow, 2,500 families. That's a lot. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. Thank you, Council. County, I'm cold, I'm sorry, <laughs> County Executive Walsa <laughs> Brooks. At this time, I would like to invite up the remaining public safety agency directors to make a couple of remarks, uh, starting with Sheriff Melvin High, followed by Acting Director for the Department of Corrections, Ms. Karen LeBay, and of course, Interim Chief Hector Velez. Thank you, Julie. Good morning, everyone. Certainly to our county executive and our uh, DCAO and all of my colleagues and leaders of our public safety agencies and all of the men and women in public safety in Prince George's County, I want to first, on behalf of all of our citizens, thank you for this great deed. You know, more than 36 years ago, the men and women in public safety recognized there were unmet needs that our citizens had. And our great regret is that we couldn't uh, satisfy those needs every day. And so we said, how can we make at least uh, one day special? And what is that special day? That special day is Christmas. And so all of the public safety men and women in Prince George's County came together 36 years ago and said, let's make a contribution that uh, goes to the well-being of all of our citizens that are in need. And you know, today, 36 years later, we find, unfortunately, that in our country and throughout the world, people have many great needs. And this is one effort, a token, to try to make a difference and to say we are united. We are one people, and if one has, we all have. And so we share. And so I want to just thank all of the men and women in Prince, in Prince George's County who serve in public safety for this great effort. And we'll continue to do it. And so on behalf of Bill Milligan, of course, on this cold day, this COVID day, we couldn't let down. So we had to continue this effort. And so thank you to the men and women of Prince George's County. And I wish everyone a great holiday season. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, to uh, all of the public safety employees, uh, to the donors, and also to the sponsors, I just want to thank you for recognizing that there is a need. Food security has always been a problem in this country. But now with COVID-19, it's a greater issue. And so I thank God that we in public safety decided that Bill Milligan's efforts and his concerns are continuing and that we are meeting those who are suffering with food security. And so I'm glad that we're able to bless someone and I'm glad that we're able to bring joy to those who are suffering with food security and that they will be able to enjoy a Christmas meal and enjoy food during the holiday season and they won't feel left out. God bless to every one of you. Merry Christmas.
morning, everyone. I'd just like to say the Prince George's County Police Department is proud to stand by our public safety partners and going out and providing for those that are in need during these difficult times. Uh, 2020 has been challenging for a lot of families. As has been stated, a lot of people have found themselves unemployed. And uh, it is uh, an honor, an absolute honor, to go out and serve those in honor of uh, Bill Milligan's name and to carry on his legacy. So thank you, and thank you to all the public safety employees for all that you do. Thank you.